I bought the newest MacBook and iPhone to see which one is best for editing. Because we all know that editing comes with a lot of stress. Whether it be your software not working, the quality dropping, or the ridiculous render times. But what if you didn't have any of these problems and just edited on your phone instead? This is exactly why today we'll put the newest MacBook up against the newest iPhone to see which one is better for editing. And if paying more money will turn out in a better quality, or if editing on a phone is just enough. But how will we know who's better? I will have the same intro and clips prepared that I have to use on both devices to create my edit. Once I'm done editing, I will export both the edits and rate my experience on each device. But because I want you to have a vote in this as well, I will post both of these edits on my YouTube and TikTok channel, which both combined have a total following of over 100,000. And whichever edit ends up receiving more likes, views, and positive feedback in the comments will be announced as the winner. So let's see if the iPhone can keep up with the MacBook. To start off, we'll start with After Effects on my MacBook. And yes, I do pay for Adobe Cloud. And let's see what results we get from that. As you can see, I already imported the intro and the sound. And for this edit, we're going to choose Darth Vader as a character. And now once we have the clips aligned, the first thing I'm gonna add is obviously some slow-mo, which I'm gonna be excited to do on the phone later. But on here, we can just simply search for the Twixter plugin. And I feel like for that waiter, we should go for a hard Twixter. Now, because we don't wanna be like CapCut editors, we obviously have to change the graphs of this animation, meaning how fast it moves and how fast the overall animation plays. And I don't know yet how I'm gonna do this process on my phone, but let's make it fast at the beginning and fast at the end. Now, this already looks pretty good. Next, to really empathize that this is a PC edit, I think we have to add some movement because obviously we don't want our edit to look choppy as fuck. I think a good way of doing that is just adding some zooms. So let's search for S underscore blur more curves. Let's put the Z distance to 0.8 at the beginning. Go to the end of the clip and put it to 1. That way we have a smooth little zoom out. Again, like before, we don't want to be like CapCut editors. So let's change the graphs of this. Now next, very important, is shakes. I'm going to say right off the bat, shakes and after effects are great. We definitely have to make sure to get some points here because it's one of the big advantages we have over the phone. Luckily, I got my awesome Twitch shake preset, which you can still get for 70% cheaper in the first link in the description. And to now paste these keyframes to all our other clips as well, we're just simply gonna go ahead, select all of them, click onto the effects in the left, and press Command and C. Well, if you're on Windows, Control and C. Go to the beginning of the next clip and then press Command and V or Control and V to paste them. Okay, now so we got the generic effects, but I think we really have to make sure we add a lot of detail because this is gonna be one of our main advantages. I'm definitely gonna add a glitch, a nice little ghost effect, and maybe here and there some white flashes. We really have to make sure to use every advantage that we have because otherwise the CapCut editors are gonna come for me in the comments. Never mind, they're gonna come for me anyway. Let's actually add a ghost effect to the first clip, so we're just gonna go ahead, press Command and D to duplicate it, then quickly pre-compose it. And now we're gonna add some opacity and scaling keyframes. By the way, if you wanna understand all these things I'm explaining right now in detail, make sure to click the link in the top right corner right now. I made a full tutorial. Also, what we're gonna add is a white flash. So let's create a new adjustment layer. Put it to white. Press OK. Let's cut it to the length of our first clip, obviously. And now our best friend opacity comes into play again. And also what I think would be a very good idea is to add a line transition right here. Because I know that's the thing CapCut editors fear. I'm sorry, let's just add the transition. Perfect. Okay, now the part where I think we can secure most of the points over the mobile editors is during the intro. Obviously, we're gonna add a text and here and there tweak some little things. But let's start with the text. So let's just select the text tool and add a new text. And this already looks pretty clean. I like the size. Obviously, we're gonna add some text effects. So let's search for deep glow, which I think will be our biggest advantage throughout this whole video, honestly. Let's add the Darth Vader part. Let's also put a different color on here. Let's go for a nice little blue. Okay, now I also added this awesome question mark. Now, last but not least, I'm gonna add a smooth little glitch between the switch of these scenes. Okay, I'll stop, don't worry. And now for the actual editing part, because we're gonna have it loop, meaning play twice, we're gonna pre-compose all of these clips together. And I'll just duplicate them so it plays twice. Okay, and now the last and most important step, I think will be adding a good color correction. Because as you can see, the quality looks kind of scuffed right now. So I will just go ahead and add this color correction that you can, by the way, still get for 70% cheaper off the first thing in the description. Limited time offer. And I think our edit looks pretty good. Let's add it to the render queue and we'll see each other when it's finished exporting. Okay, now our edit just finished exporting and it took a total of nine minutes and 11 seconds. That's a weird coincidence. Anyway, I'm very satisfied with the edit I made in After Effects, so I think it's now time to face my biggest opponent. And because of an ongoing lawsuit between me and CapCut, I'm gonna have to use a light motion for this edit. They are better anyway. Anyway, I now imported all the clips and the sound into a light motion. And I think the first thing we should add is definitely our shakes. Luckily, I still have the same shake preset I made in this video, so I don't have to make everything all over again. And I have to say, this is actually pretty straightforward in the light motion. Now we have the effect preset on top of our clip. Now next, obviously, we also wanna put some movement onto here. If you remember in After Effects, we did that using zooms, 
this. So we're going to do the same thing here. I'm just clicking on to move and transform. And I will zoom the clip in to about negative 268. Random number, but whatever. Now we got to make sure that the keyframes align with the beginning and the end of our clip. And for the graph, we're going to try to roughly copy the same one we did in After Effects. So it's nice and equal. Now we'll save this as an animation preset and apply it to all the other clips as well. Okay, now once that's done, I think our edit already looks a lot better. But now the hardest part will be making the intro text. So let's go ahead and do this right now. But now for the animation, it's going to be a bit tricky. For that, I will now add the wipe effect. And as a preset, I'm going to use the transition in preset. And now we're going to go ahead and just drag the second keyframe to wherever our character stops speaking. Okay, now once we edit the first text there, we're going to do the same thing for the other one as well. But I think to make this text fit Darth Vader, we're going to put it red. So I'm going to go to color and fill, just select the red one. Just makes it look a bit better. And now honestly, considering this is my first proper light motion edit, I think it's not that bad. Let me know what you think in the comments. And the last thing I'm going to do is loop this edit like the other one. And once that's done, I think we're ready to export. Okay, now to export, we're just going to click this little window in the top right. And I'm very excited to see how long this will take. And we're going to select the normal video settings and then just hit export. Okay, now this is crazy. This literally took like 20 seconds. Compared with After Effects, which is a total of 9 minutes and 11 seconds, that's actually pretty good. I definitely give a light motion credit for that. Okay, now once the editing is done, it's gonna come to the cringe part, which is gonna be uploading both of these edits to my social media. Let's start with the light motion edit. We're gonna upload that straight to TikTok. So let's just go here, select the edit. And I can't lie, I'm very excited about what my TikTok followers have to say about this. I'm just gonna play it like I don't know what's going on. So I'll just say first edit in a while, which is actually true if you follow me on TikTok. Let's just put a nice little thumbs up emoji and then we're just gonna put the regular hashtags that relate with the edit hashtag for you hashtag after effects now for the cover let's just select something unsuspecting i think this clip is pretty good let's press save and let's go ahead and post this edit this is gonna be very interesting i think people are gonna notice but i don't know yet but after effects edit we're gonna upload it to youtube i'm gonna give it the same title same hashtag so it's nice and fair first edit in a while. Hashtag After Effects. And with all this done, we're gonna just click publish. I don't even wanna look at it. I'll update you guys in a few hours. A few moments later. Okay, so it has now been three hours since I uploaded all the edits. I haven't looked onto the accounts ever since, so I'm very excited what we got. I'd say let's start with the After Effects edit, so we go on YouTube real quick. Okay, we got 300 views on it, and 22 comments. Let's see what the comments are saying. Batman, really honored to be in Bro's edit. It's gonna be the best edit I've ever seen. Okay, so I wasn't expecting this. Honestly, the edit was made kinda fast, so I thought maybe people would get a bit suspicious. But the Overall comments are very, very positive. I mean, what would you expect? I only added on After Effects. So it would be embarrassing if it's the other way around. Someone says, I'm your dad. But yeah, overall, very positive reaction. Now, I can't tell you how much I don't want to open these TikTok comments, but I guess we have to do what we have to do. Okay, the edit got 1,480 views, which is more than YouTube. Let's see. Okay, it got about the same amount of likes, though, which is already saying a lot about it. And we got actually 37 comments. Let's open the comments. So it says top three cap card editors. What is bro using cap? Okay, I think people realized that I was not editing on After Effects in this edit. Did bro lose a bet? Bro cooking on cap card. Bro's dominating cap card now. Okay, guys. I think people instantly knew that this is not a serious edit. Someone said Bro lost his After Effects subscription. Okay, so I think a lot of people noticed that this edit was made on the phone. So overall, I would say it's definitely possible to edit on phone. But it's way easier and better to edit on PC. And I would suggest everyone to do that who has a chance to. But if you now want to see me try this out again, maybe with some other editing apps, make sure to scroll down and smash the like button. Because if you had 3,000 likes on this video, I will make a second part, including some other editing apps. Thank you so, so much for watching. Click here if you want to learn how to edit. Subscribe for more. Assalamu alaikum and see you next time.